Italian saw bars, cafes, and restaurants reopen for the first time in more than two months, and there are concerns citizens are gradually returning to their old habits after the lockdown was further eased this week. In places like Milan, in Italy's worst hit region of Lombardy, there are now lots of people in the streets. It's a minority not respecting social distancing or wearing face masks, sparking concern over a new spike of coronavirus infections. Milan's mayor, Giuseppe Salla, was among the first to complain about the lack of social distancing on May the 8th, during the first phase of the lockdown being lifted. On Friday, he renewed his appeal to respect confinement measures, adding that he had asked local authorities to close businesses that do not comply. And joining us from Italy is social commentator Daniel Eweka. Uh, good evening, Mr. Eweka. Good evening, my... Now, the la the last time we spoke, uh, you said there was a strict implementation of lockdown measures. Are there ma major fears, uh, are the mayor's fears rather valid uh, from what you see around you? Yes, uh, the, fear, the fear is still there because um, many persons, especially when it comes to gatherings in, the, in public places like restaurants and bars, people still do not obey the social distancing. Like I observed this evening that some persons, some persons were still clustered together. Like even when they walk around, there's still some level of uh, closeness. But when it comes to areas like uh, public transportation and where people do walk, the, the rules are strictly followed. The, the number of persons that the buses carry are limited, and if you do not use your face mask, you are not allowed to enter any public bus. And then uh, in the place where you work, if you do not follow the normal uh, procedure, you are not allowed to enter any place where you work. Even in supermarkets, if you do not allow them to take your temperatures to actually know whether it's high or low, nobody will actually allow you go in. But generally, you know, um, can you hear me? Uh, looks like yeah. Okay. Now, I can uh, hear you. All right, great. Have there been any spike also in figures that may necessitate a reinstatement of lockdown measures? From what you also no. Uh, perceive? No, no. The 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 number has been really uh, relatively uh, has relatively reduced since the the lockdown uh, was lifted, but. You know, it, it hasn't been any spike, so to speak. All right. Aside the concern over the lack of social distancing, uh, what other issues uh, do you hear being discussed among the people also? Uh, generally, the, the fear is um, not that much anymore. It's, it's, it's like uh, something that has come to stay. Uh, most persons have come to terms with it, and then everybody's just living, living his or her life as if uh, the virus is, and is not around. Hmm. It is good news that, you know, the numbers are reducing significantly. Now, you are back yes. at work. Uh, what are some of the realities yes. of the post-COVID-19 work life uh, that you have to deal with now? Yeah, it, it's very, the measures are very, very strict. Like, uh, in some areas, in some, like, uh, I work in a place where ships are made or yachts are made. Uh, in a place where I work, before I started work, I was uh, required to do the COVID-19 test. So anyone who tests positive is not allowed to work. So in some other places, they do not require you to do the test, but you can go in. But well, before you go in in the morning, you must wear your face mask. You must wear your hand glove, and then they must, they must check your temperature. Now, the, 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 the measures that, you know, life is not, it's not as, it is, as it was before. Like, uh, people now work on ships. You know, large gatherings of numbers of persons are not allowed. You are not, at least if you, even if you must talk to the next person, you must put on your mask. So the restrictions generally are very strict. Mm -hmm. The reality we have in Nigeria, for instance, now is the fact that, you know, health workers are really overwhelmed and we've gotten lots of them who've tested positive to the COVID-19. In your end, what's the reality in hospitals and uh, medical cares? What, what's the difference, if I may ask you? Okay, the uh, most times, most people who who tested positive to the to the COVID nineteen were not actually taken to the hospital, but they were isolated in their homes. All right, thank you so very much, Awaka, for your time.